Hey, this is Doug and Shelly with His Way Homestead, and today we're pretty excited. Yep. This is a product that we are asked to review, and uh, I'm really excited about it. Yeah, it's a pretty cool one. So stick around. All right, so this is the Smart um, Water. What do, you, what do you call it? Water distribution thing? It's a timer. It's yeah. a smart timer. And it's, it's made by Rainpoint. Yep. And you can you can access it remotely. It's got right. its own thing. We'll talk about all the features, but here's the box that it came in. Here's the box. We're going to open it up, show you everything that's in the box. And then we'll go over some of the features. So it's got the quick start. The user's manual the two zone water timer it's a water timer this is hub number one yeah this is number two this is number two and it comes with a warranty card five years five year warranty a five year warranty that's pretty impressive so this is a the out. yeah this is the control i think isn't it the display. I don't know. It's our first time opening yeah. it. I think this is the display that you have inside your house and it works via Wi-Fi. So that's pretty cool. And you can scan the little QR to get the um, to get your warranty. So I'm gonna kind of stick that on the side of the of the box there. All right. And here is the main part of it. This is the water distribution thingy. Yeah. That's so you, what hooks to your water. Yeah. So your in water out comes there and then it goes out from there. So here's your input. Here's your two outputs. So it's got two zones, which is really cool. And it looks like we've got two little spools of Teflon tape. I've got something over here that I can't get out. Little box. It's probably a charger cable for the inside thing, maybe. Yeah, yep. it's an AC adapter for the uh, monitor. So there's there's not a lot to it, but what's really cool is oh, you can push that button too. Is you've got two zones. You got two zones. And what's really cool is I can be inside the house when it's 100 degrees outside, and I can just use my app. And turn it on. And or turn it, it on. Or if it starts raining, you can turn it off. Yeah. So it's, it's got some little thingy here. Let's see what this is. Mm, it's hog proof. Yeah. There we uh, go. It's for the battery. Batteries. Double A's. Yeah, double A's. Looks four like double A batteries. Four double A's. So we'll go ahead and put that back in there. But uh, yeah. So we'll uh, we'll set this aside and we'll start we'll talk about some of the features. So because this this is really cool, really neat. We're, we once they approached us about reviewing this, we were pretty excited. Especially yeah. you were. Yeah. Yeah. So some people ask us to review things. And we're like, eh, it's not yeah. really something we would use. Wouldn't be helpful or whatever. This one is exciting. Yeah, it's going to be super helpful. Yeah. So stick around. We'll. Uh, Zoom in a little closer, we'll talk about all the different features. All right, so we had to move inside. The wind was blowing a little too much. We were knocking stuff over, just like here. So <laughs> we're gonna come in here and we're gonna go through the quick step, uh, the quick start. So the first step, it okay, there's, a little, there's a little QR code right there. You scan that to get the app. Get it? It's going. While she's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and install the batteries. And this guy. That's what it looks like. So it's kind of cool. We'll walk you through. This is our first run. This is, yeah. you know, cold coming into it. Yeah, this. we're not doing any of this before showing you guys. So this is what you would have to do 
if you bought one of these. So I have to register a new account when using the app for the first time. It's flashing red. It's angry water spouts. And the, the camera might bounce a little bit because it's on the table. So that's fun. So I have to create an account. So you create an account, follow the instructions on the app. And then once you get that, it will, will go to step two. I need to agree to the privacy policy. Oh, I see. So there's a little check mark down at the bottom. It's kind of hard to see. So we're already having technical <laughs> difficulties. Okay. Uh, we're not going to show you us uh, setting up an account. No. Because that's our account. You don't need my info. You don't need our info. So you have to like agree to the user agreement a couple of times and it's kind of hard to see down at the bottom. So now they're going to send me a verification code. So you go through all that and then hopefully we'll get access to the app. Yeah. And it's an email verification. So it might take just a second. Yeah. So, so what do we do after? Uh, the next step is in the app, you find the plus button on the top right corner of the app's home. Uh, select display hub and enter the Wi-Fi information and go to next. So that's when we have to have this plugged in. Okay. So. All right. So I have my verification email. And in the meantime, while she's doing that, I'm looking at the user manual. Now I have to set a password. No, y'all can't see my password either. And then hit register. All right, I have successfully registered. Now I'm gonna log in. Time zone, central. Confirm that. And it asks set up location information for your home. I'm going to hit set up. All right. It tells you to remove this little battery cover, but it doesn't tell you how to do it. And it feels like I'm going to break it. That one has batteries too? Yep. I thought that one had the power cord. It does. And it's both? got batteries. Yep. And <laughs> I can't get it off. There's nothing, no little latch or anything. So that's kind of a little annoying. All right. So that's the plus up at the top. That's where we're going to add this device. I really don't want to break this. Yeah, that would be bad. But they don't tell you how to take it off. Okay, so Rainpoint, tell us how to take it off. <laughs> first, first little negative, and it doesn't tell you. So I'm going through the user's manual. And it, like I said, it says, It just says remove it. Power on the, and follow steps below. It doesn't say how to get it off. Ooh, it slides. Ha ha. It slides down. Hum. <laughs> that was hard. That was tricky. That was um, tricky. So, rain point. Show a little graphic how to push down and it pops right off. So, I'm going to get three. So, you need a total of 
seven AA batteries, uh, but we've got the AC adapter. Uh, we can do it with that. We've got a power outlet right behind us. Yeah, I'm glad I looked closer at the picture. It wasn't quite obvious. So, you don't want to break it. I didn't want to break it. No, that would be bad. Break it before <laughs> we ever get started. Yeah. Especially since that's kind of like the prop for it too. Uh, you break that off and then it's hard to, hard to deal with it. I mean, this is... Tangled. Tangled up. Go ahead and plug it into the wall. You're not funny in the just, least. Just kidding. Is there any plugs in there? I think so. So we got it plugged in. All right. Now what? So I push the. What did you push? I didn't push anything on there. I just oh. plugged it in. Oh, so here's some of the display. You can kind of kind of see it. I'm sure it'll show up better once we <laughs> we got a lot of glare. Um, All right, so I hit the plus. And enter the Wi-Fi information. All right, let's see, go back. Yeah, it, it goes really weird. It goes one, two, three up here. Go to, so this is what happens when you hit plus. Let's, let's zoom in here. And we're going to go to the display hub. Yeah. And now it wants our Wi-Fi password. Well, it says on this. Oh, <laughs> I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> Hold on, we'll be right back. We got to get our Wi-Fi password. All right, so we got our password. Yes. <laughs> so now. All right, so now we need to power on the device with a power cable and get ready to connect. Yep. Hold the little connecty thing. There's a little Wi-Fi button on top. See that? Hold it for five seconds until the display shows scan. There it goes, scan, I'll let go of it. Now what? All steps completed, hit next. Now it's searching. So the phone app is searching for this guy. Yeah. So hopefully it'll find it. I it, hope so. It's right next to it. Yeah. It's right there. Right there. Right there. You can see it. It's so funny. All right, so it connected. There, Wi Fi found the device. Do you want to add it? Yeah, yes, I do. So we added the device, and now I don't it says, I save it. It has the temperature in Celsius. Yeah, we'll have to change that. Yeah, because we're not British. I don't know what any that is. <laughs> we'll figure right. that out. So, we did that. After the hub is connected, select the plus button on the top right corner of the app homepage to add device. You added a device. Or you can go to the hub's homepage and use sub devices to add devices. All right, press and hold the left button of the timer until the light. Oh, wait a minute, I skipped number six. Yeah, this there. They're, they jumped, they jumped around. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah. it's kind of. It's a little weird. All right. After the hub is connected, select the plus. All right. Sub devices. Add. We're going to add the. See, we can do the zone one and the zone two timer. Okay. All right, so zone one is ready for pairing. I guess. Is that this? I don't know. I think it's this. So we need to put batteries in it? I, or, we, or, I did. Okay. 
All right, hopefully it it's pairing. Well, I don't know. It says insert the batteries into device. The indicator will blink quickly and start connecting mode automatically. Oh. I don't know, maybe we have to take the batteries out again. Well, let's see if it'll connect. Because it flashed quickly when I put the batteries in. Oh. I mean, should just be able to take one out. Yeah. We're getting my fat fingers in there. Can't get them in. I'll break a finger now. There we go. All right. So we're going to put this battery in. And it's flashing. It's red. It's not flashing. It's flashing quickly. All right. So hopefully. My, it's still looking for it. So hopefully it'll pair now. Yes, yeah, got 29 seconds left, 28 seconds. Come on, come on, find it. You can do it. You can do it. 19 seconds. Oh, hey. Oh, oh. Did that, it do something? This turned off. I don't think it worked. Mm. We're doing really good here, folks. This is the real life part of it. This is real life. What does it say? It just says ready for pain. Oh, but wait, wait, that was, that was that thing. Hit next on that. That's what I, what we were just Ooh. doing. All right. I can't get my fingers in there. Why don't you go back and then. Okay. All right, you, uh, what's, the, what's, the, what's the quick manual say? Oh, we need the two zone one. That one. That's probably why I couldn't find oh, it. Oh, I thought it was doing one zone and then the no, second. No, okay. No. All right. Okay, show them the, show them the app. So we're, we're hitting this one. It's this one, because this has got two, two spouts. All right, so we're gonna hit the two zone. Yep. It says ready for pairing. Wait a minute. Yeah, you do that. Then it says insert the batteries. I'm gonna slip the battery in. Hopefully, y'all will know how to do it correctly <laughs> by the time we get this. Wow, out. that went to the white quickly, and I think we are connected. Yeah, add device successfully. Yep. See, it was looking for the wrong device. Yeah, that was my fault. All That's my okay. Fault. That, that, See our hey, guest. We're learning. We're learning. Ugh. We have a. A visitor in the background. <laughs> it's the Bucky Cat. Bucky Cat. All right, you took the instructions. Oh, sorry. All right, so the next thing. We did this, now we're here. Uh, uh, we did, did we, we did that, we're paired, now we're here. After successfully connecting, the last water usage value will display in the middle of the timer screen. The next watering plan time will display as well after creating plans. So that's. All right. Last usage, zero. Down at the bottom, it has the plans. Yep. All right. So, so we plan? I Do we plan? Do we plan? Yeah, well, we can. But let's, uh, I want to change this to Fahrenheit because we're not British. App homepage. You need to go to the app homepage. So I'm here at this one. You can't see it. That's okay. Um, that's not the home page. I don't think. Oh, no. Go back. I'm not at the home page. Yeah, there's the home page. So click on that thingy. This thingy right here. Did you click it? I did. Go to settings. Settings. Language, 24 hours, single day, warning settings, controller setting, timer setting, manual timing. Uh, the other really cool thing about this system, which uh, we didn't get that option, which thanks Rainpoint, we would have liked it. Uh, they have a sensor that you can put into your ground and it will sense how much water is actually getting to it. Yeah. So that would have been very cool. Very cool. Uh, did you find it yet? Mm -hmm. We're still looking on how to get off this metric Celsius junk. 
All right, we'll figure it out later. Yeah, so stick around. We'll get it figured out, I promise. I All figured right. it out. She figured it out. She's, right. she's so smart. So there's the homepage. You see the three little dots right there? Click that. Click the three dots. Comes up with information and you go to units format and then you can change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And hopefully liters to gallons. So we got all that done. Metric, I'm changing it. You can do that there as well. Change it from metric to well, US gallons. Yay. Got it. What else? What else is there? Um, There's some others. 24 hour format, the day format. You wanna format. change air pressure to... Um, I don't know what any of that stuff is for air pressure. Inches of, inches of mercury. Okay, yeah, okay. Length, Imperial. Yep. Good, we got it set for the good old USA. Yay. So you can see on the display, hopefully. No, you can't, because I keep touching this light button and it toggles through the brightness. So you can see, all right, so here we go. <laughs> it's hard to hold it. I, I got it now. So we do have Fahrenheit, gallons, and I don't see pressure. All right, so now we have to schedule. If you see, it's got the home and then it's got each unit and it has no plan. So we need to make a plan. Need a plan. I Can I have a, have a plan. plan? I think I'm gonna slide this on here. I think the... So you hit the first one, and then you go to plan. There we go. Comes up like this. I'm just making stuff up. All right. <laughs> so you hit the plus button in the upper corner. And there you go. All right, so... Comes up with all these thingies. And, and you can hear on this, so if you if you need the water right now, I push this, you can hear it. It'll click on. Hear oh, that? Yeah. And then I can turn it off. Yeah. And I can turn that one on. And turn it off. So you can go through the programming before you ever have any water lines hooked up and confirm that you've got it to where you want it. Yeah and make sure it works. And so on this, it's asking for the start time and then it has stop watering by. So that's your duration. Um, so it can either be how much water was used or the time duration. So right now it's set to 10 minutes. I'm gonna change that because normally I water for 30 minutes you know, we're on a well here. We're not paying for water. And so I've got that set. And then down at the bottom, it's repeat every day. So you can do odd days, even days. You can customize it. So that's pretty cool. It's very cool. So I think right now I'm going to do odd days. I don't really need to water every day. We're getting into the fall garden season. Yeah, not as much growth. Yeah. No. But. And it's a little cooler outside. So I've got it set to irrigation. Start at 7 a.m. Water for 30 minutes. And um, it's set for odd days. Yeah. And we might go out, hook it up, and do special programming just to make sure yeah. it works. And then you hit the, the quest, uh, question mark, the check mark up at the top to lock that in. All right, so now we have an irrigation plan and that is for valve L, the left. And it has on here. Left and right. For people like me. Left and right. Which one is left and right. All right, so then, uh, see, do, do, do. So again, you see the home, that's the one I just programmed. This one has no plan. So that will be the one that um, 
probably goes out to fill up the pick water. Yeah, and I, I was gonna say that too, if you don't have a garden, but you have animals, you could use this to automatically water the animals. Yeah. Which would be very cool. Because we've had some issues before, like the, the rabbit water is hooked up to a toilet fill valve. And sometimes it, there's algae that grows on it or something doesn't sit quite square. And it'll stop working and then your animals don't have any water. That's a big problem. Yeah. So. Um, or we use a huge, what is it called? It's a big tub thing to fill the pig water. IBC with. tote. Yeah, IBC tote. Yeah. And so it would be nice to have it set to where maybe weekly it, it just, puts a certain amount of water yeah, in there. Yeah. That would be really good. That would be very good. So we'll figure out how we're going to set up zone yeah. one and zone two, left and right, basically. Um, but let's go get it hooked up. Yeah. And we need to get this video out to you, which we already did because you're watching it. But uh, Rainpoint's been very patient with us. Uh, it's been very hot here and we've been unable to go outside and do anything. We've been on vacation and they've been very understanding about how quickly we can get this video <laughs> completed. About life. Life happens. So that's why we want to take our time and do it right. Do it well. Show you everything. Show you as if you just bought it. Because that's what we did. We just going yeah. through it just like you. We're not experts. We're not a sales rep. Mm -mm. for rain point mm -mm. uh so we're gonna fumble around with it we're not slick this isn't a slick presentation but this is us this is real, real life real life no with, makeup at real, all. real life with doug and shelly <laughs> real life with doug and shelly so anyway um i i hope this is i hope you're enjoying this uh, we're gonna go outside and hook up this thing uh the the valve you couldn't see him pointing to it yeah i was pointing to it you couldn't see it <laughs> We're gonna hook that up and we're gonna- Get it working. We're gonna take it through its paces. So yeah. stick around. You don't wanna miss this. Mm -mm. Mm, no. All right, so we got the rain point uh, valve installed, the two way to two zone water timer valve, whatever you wanna call it, installed on our spigot. The left line goes to the sprinkler here in the garden and the right line goes to a, a line that has a splitter and you can see we got another splitter there that will end up eventually hooking up to it so um we're gonna all right i just set a second program to start at 11 25 it's 11 24. okay so that's the left one yeah so in just a few seconds don't look at all my weeds <laughs> this sprinkler should kick in so what time is it Still 11:24. So 11:24. So let's show you her all her weeds. So well, that's not weed. <laughs> that's not weed. But the bees. Look at the honey bees in it. Yeah, they are loving all of the um, basil and Thai basil. Yeah. All right. So it should. It. There it goes. Yay! I turned that up, and it doesn't seem to be very high. There, it didn't turn it up the whole way. Is there something else running with it? No, it shouldn't be. It's barely running, isn't we it? We might have to figure out if there's like a water pressure. Oh. Because that should be. It definitely looks like that's going to work. And, you know, it'll be really cool to have it to where, you know, once a week it puts a couple gallons or 10 gallons into the pig water. Yeah. That'll be amazing. I can show them what we're walking through over here yeah this is all sweet potatoes sweet taters sweet tater bombs. sweet taters you can see we're at the end of the growing season but they're you know fall garden yeah i just planted cabbage and cauliflower and brussels sprouts and fun stuff fun stuff so yeah it works it works as as uh promised yeah um we were kind of worried about the wi-fi in the house being able to communicate with that but it seems like it's, it's doing it it's communicating yeah so that's good we were worried that sometimes the wi-fi doesn't communicate out here in the yard but uh, it seems like it's working yeah so i think it's good it's set for 10 minutes so um we'll probably go ahead and just turn it off yeah and i like i like the fact that you know you can come up and push the button you don't have yeah. to program it you can just turn it on 
and use a, a sprayer. So that that's good. I like it. So. Okay. Um, so do you have it on me? Yeah. All right. So I set those two different timers on there. Mm -hmm. So you can see, you can turn a timer off and on. So you can select different timers throughout the week. Yeah. You can have them pre-programmed. Right. And you can turn them off and on. And the cool thing is, if you're on vacation, you can turn them on and off. You can. Wherever you are. So that is very cool. So I turned it off with a button. Yep. It's working good. Be buzzing me. I think it's a thumbs up or a water. All right. So I think the rain point product, the two zone uh, water timer, I think it's going to be an amazing asset for us here on the homestead. Yeah, I think so. Uh, we'll leave a link in the description below, a uh, special link. Not going to cost you any more, but I think we might get a little bit out of it. Do we have a discount code? I don't. I don't know. We'll have to look we'll at check it and see if we have a discount code. If, if there is a discount code, I'll put it in the description. Definitely yeah. want to save you guys some money. Uh, the, this isn't cheap, but it's not that expensive either. No. I think uh, at the time of this filming, what was it? About one hundred twenty-five dollars. I think something, something like, like that. that. It's not bad. So prices may go up. You never know. Yeah. Um, but right now. In September 2023, it's about $125. Yeah. So, um, but I think I would have bought it had I known yeah. about it before now. I think it's I think so it's e glad, worth, yeah. worth every bit of it. Uh, Definitely. We were really excited when they reached out to us to uh, review it. Mm -hmm. uh, good product. I think it's a good yeah. product. And now we'll, y'all know about it. We'll we'll do like a uh, a pre winter uh, follow up to see how it worked. Uh, I know we got to disconnect it when it's freezing temperature stuff, so we'll yeah. we'll disconnect it, bring it all in. Which and, we did would anyway with yeah, all of our hoses. So. Exactly. So we'll do a follow up yep. and and see uh, what we still think about it after after some time goes by. So your hawk. Yep. So thanks for watching. Really appreciate y'all. Uh, go check out Rainpoint. Uh, yeah. We'll leave links in the description, like we said. If there's a discount code, we'll leave that. And uh, don't forget his way is the best way. We'll see you next time. God bless.